everybody. Welcome to Crazy Quilt. <sighs> I'm Jackson. You know what I'm doing? I'm spinning around. Woo-hoo! Hi, everybody. Hi, Jackson. Oh, 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 what are you doing? Oh, excuse me, <laughs> Maggie. <sighs> I'm spinning around and trying to get dizzy. Oh, I love the feeling of being dizzy, especially when I fall down. And everything spins. <laughs> it's like going on a ride, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> you should be careful. Mm -hmm. Well, sometimes if you spin too much, you start to feel a little sick. Oh, yeah. I, I think I know what you mean. Oh, Jackson, you're not feeling too well, are you? I know. Oh, why don't you just sit here and we'll tell a story and make some crafts. Um, yeah, that's a good idea. What's our story about today? Well, watching you spin around and around reminded me of a story about a little canoe who goes into the rapids and spins around and gets seasick. Oh, Maggie, I don't know if I want to do a story about getting sick. <laughs> well, let's make some of the crafts first and then see how you feel, okay? Okay. We'll start by making the little canoe. And I've got a paper towel roll that I painted white with little black stripes and marks. Does oh, that remind yeah. you of something? That, that looks like birch bark. Right. And they used to use birch trees and strip off the, the bark and make yeah. them into canoes. Now, we don't want to strip off the birch bark because that would hurt the trees. But a paper towel roll looks pretty good. But you're kind of hurting the paper towel roll. No, no. I wanted to flatten it out a little bit so that I can cut it a little more easily. I'm just cutting kind of a little curvy shape here yeah. and one pretty much like it on the other side, oh. like that. And then I'm going to take my scissors and cut all the way down and open it up on one side. Boy, that's a lot easier than making the whole thing out of birch bark. <laughs> Still, they seem to have used the, the canoe as a really important way of getting around all yeah. over North America. Wherever there were forests and trees like that grew, they had canoes, and it would take them everywhere. Yeah, well, I guess it's a lot easier than walking through the forest all For the time. Sure. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to put some tape here on the edges, otherwise the water would come right in the ends. I guess they didn't use tape. <laughs> <laughs> no, for sure not. And we have to do it on both ends. And just scrunch the tape down. Now, of course, some of these canoes would be pretty little, just enough to hold one or two people, but sometimes they'd have them big enough that they could carry, well, furs and food and whatever they needed. Boy, like a, like a really big boat. Mm -hmm. And now we want to open it up, and we need to do something in here to make sure it stays open. Yeah. Jackson, can you hold the canoe for a yeah, second? Yeah, sure, sure. Okay. I'm going to use a popsicle stick or an ice cream stick, and I've cut it to just the length that I want. You can get a grown-up to help you with that cutting part. I'm putting a little ball of plasticine on each side, and I'm going to put it inside the canoe right in the middle. Oh, to keep it open. Right. So it'll be nice and comfy. And you could also use it as a seat if you wanted. There we go. He's ready to sail off. But you know what? We need another boat for our story. Another boat. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is the Let's kind see. of boat that people can live on. It's oh, 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 that would be a, a, um, a houseboat. That's right. Oh, and I was right. <laughs> 
I took a box and I painted it blue wavy on the bottom. Oh, that's where the water is? That's right. And it's brown on the top, nice and flat. I've got a lid from a box and you can see that I've painted with my marker some lines going up and down. And I'm oh, going yeah. to finish What's that it for? on that side. Well, there's something very important on most big boats, a railing. A railing? Sure. Oh, I know, so you don't fall in the water. That's right, a very important thing to do. So I've just drawn that on, and now I will make a tape loop and attach the railing to the bottom of the boat. Okay. If you don't have a lid that's the right size, you could just take a piece of cardboard and fold up the edges. But oh, we yeah, need yeah. another box. This is the part where the people would live. Oh, and that's the house part. Right. Mm. So I'm going to use some construction paper to make a door. I'll attach it with my tape loop. I'll draw okay. a ladder so they can climb up to the roof. Oh, that would be a cool part, being able to sit on the roof. Oh, <laughs> you get lots of sun. Of course, you've got your sunscreen on, so you don't get a sunburn. Let's see that ladder. There's the ladder. Oh, nice. Now, you might want to be able to look out the window. Yeah. And, you know, have you ever noticed on a boat how the windows have a different shape than normal? Oh, yeah. They're, they're round. Right. And here's an easy way to make a whole bunch of circles for windows. I've accordion folded you fold my it construction back and paper, forth. Yeah, right? Yeah. And now I take my scissors and I cut out a circle. You cut a circle out. Right. I'm only having to cut it once, but when I separate them out, I should have a whole bunch of windows. Oh, also, you just cut one because it was all piled on top of each other. Right. You got a whole bunch. Yep. Now, if you don't want to do that cutting, you could certainly use stickers because they're already round. Yeah, but it's fun to cut some things oh, sometimes. I think so, too. And the accordion folding is really an easy way to do it. So I'll put the windows on like that. Actually, they have a special name, too, for that kind of window. If you're mm. on a boat and you want to look like a real sailor, you say, I'm looking out the porthole. The porthole, mm -hmm. not the window? No, nope. unless hmm. it's a, a flat window, a square window, a rectangular. Hmm. And then you could call it a window. Now I'm going to mm, what are you just gonna do? add some tape here and put this here. I think I'll put the door at the back. No. There we go. Oh, so people can me. climb up. There you go. And we want to add a roof so that they can climb right up. I've got a piece of construction paper that's a little bit bigger than the box. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to put some tape here and attach it right to the edge and bend it up like that to give it a nice rounded oh, shape. Oh, nice. Right. Like a nice curvy roof. Mm -hmm. And they come in all sorts of different sizes and shapes. So you can just play around and get the right kind that you would like. Mm -hmm. So we have our boat and our canoe. How are you feeling? Oh, I'm feeling better now, Maggie. Let's start the story. Once there was a little canoe named Tippy who wanted to go out on the river where all the water rushed and tumbled. Whee! Look at me! are too much for me. All those bumps make me seasick. Oh, there's got to be a way to get through that rough water without feeling yuck. Other boats do it. Maybe I could ask one of them. So the little canoe sailed slowly down the river. I'm staying near the shore where the water is calm so I don't feel sick again. He met a larger boat with a flat deck and a house on top. Excuse me, 
Could you help me, please? <laughs> well, hello there, dear. You're a cute canoe. Are you lost? Oh, no. I'm looking for a cure for seasickness. When I travel in the rough water of the rapids, I feel all blechy. Do you know what I can do? Well, I don't travel through the rapids. I'm too big for the shallow water. But wait a minute. Sometimes the family who lives with me feels a little seasick, and then the mother always gives them special foods. Food? What are foods? Well, let's see now. What does she give them? Oh, I remember. Weak tea. Weak tea? What's tea? And chicken soup. I've heard her mention chicken soup. Chicken soup? And soda crackers, yes. They eat soda crackers when their stomachs are upset. And something else, too. Oh, I know. Ginger ale. Soda crackers and ginger ale? That's it. Weak tea, chicken soup, soda crackers, ginger ale. Weak tea, chicken soup, soda crackers, ginger ale? That's right. Try that. It'll cure you. Are you sure? Well, it seems to work for the family. Weak tea, chicken soup, soda crackers, ginger ale. I have to go watch the little boy. He's always climbing onto my railings. Bye. Bye-bye and thanks. Ha! Huh. Weak tea, chicken soup, soda crackers, ginger ale. I wonder what all that is. So the little canoe continued sailing down the river, repeating over and over. Weak tea, chicken soup, soda crackers, ginger ale. Weak tea, chicken soup, soda crackers, ginger ale. <laughs> he didn't know what weak tea, chicken soup, soda crackers, ginger ale were, but he hoped he might meet some. <laughs> That's funny, Maggie. Weak tea, chicken soup, soda crackers, ginger ale aren't things or people. Their foods. But the little canoe didn't know that. He just knew what boats were. And Jackson, we have to make some more boats. Oh, great. What do we make now? We're going to make a ferry boat, and then we're going to make an old-fashioned paddle boat. Oh, a ferry boat. Right. Uh, the kind that carries cars and people across the water? Uh, that's exactly right. And so you need a flat box, and that'll be where the cars and people go on top. Yeah, and yeah. You see these pipe cleaners and little bits of straws? Yeah. Well, you recognize that, don't you? That's the railing. The railing, right. You don't want to have the car fall off. <laughs> no. And we made the railing a different way than on the houseboat. I poked some holes with my sharp pencil, and then I put in a straw that has a little slit cut in it so I could lay the pipe cleaner right across. Oh, so you're just kind of scrunching the pipe cleaner into that mm -hmm. slit. Mm. Or another way is to have a little bend in the pipe cleaner and poke it in that way, and it can share that. Oh, yeah. That's a nice way to go around the corner. Yeah. Right. Now, on the ferry, you have a little place where the captain of the boat goes, this is called the wheel house. Oh, is that where they put the wheels of the car? Well, it's where they put the wheel of the boat so they can steer the boat. Oh, the steering wheel. Right. Oh. And I've got some squares of cardboard that I'm going to use for the windows. These are different than the ones on the houseboat. Remember, th those were oh, round yeah, those portholes. are more like windows, not like portholes. Right. Yeah. Well, mm. fairies are a little bit different. Mm. Oh, so we'll put some on every side, like that. And we'll put a door here, oh. because they need to be able to get in and out. Yeah, but the, the window fell off. It did? Yeah. Oh! No. Oh. The, the glue stick fell down. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Oh, I'll put a little more glue stick on it mm. then. Rough sailing. <laughs> <laughs> now, you can see I've also got a craft stick that I poked in here. Oh, yeah. What's that? That's the smoke stack where oh. it, the smoke comes out of the engine. Oh. And there's some, one other thing you sometimes see, which is a little whistle. I took a straw and I cut a little notch here. That's pretty delicate work. You might want to get a grown-up to help you with that part. Yeah, I think so. And I cut off the end of a paper cone and put it on top for the whistle cap. Oh, I can that put that right really there. That looks good. Mm -hmm. That way, if there's any trouble, the ferry boat can whistle. Or just to let people know that it's time to get on, the ferry boat's ready to leave. But you know, it's got to be a way for the cars and the people to come up onto the boat. Yeah, but, well, they could take, um, no, that wouldn't. Mm. <laughs> How about a ramp? Oh, yeah, I was thinking they just drive, but then Chris splash. <laughs> That's right. I've got just a little strip of cardboard, 
and I'm just taping it so that it drapes on the edge and goes down to the table. And that yeah. way, the cars can drive oh, right up. Oh, here comes some cars. <laughs> now, you can make some cars if you want, or just use your toy cars. Oh, boy, that's like really that. neat. Yeah. Well, we've got our ferry boat. Yep. But we need to make a paddle boat. Oh, uh, Maggie, mm -hmm. we already made a paddle boat. A canoe. That's the kind of boat that you paddle. Yeah. But that's I mean a boat that has paddles built right on it. Oh, oh, a paddle boat that paddles on it. Mm. Can you bring up that juice can that we were decorating, please, oh, Jackson? Oh, yeah, the one we put the stripes on this right. one. Right. Yeah, I'll bring up a big box, mm. and I put a railing on it with some construction paper, a big strip all the way around. And the juice can will go right on the back. But have a look at how we decorated it. You see these strips of construction paper all the way around? These mm -hmm. are the paddles. They go around oh. and around and around, and they catch the water and oh, push the boat along. It reminds along. me of like a, you know, a, a, what do you call those things near the river? A mill. Oh, a water mill. Yeah. Right, absolutely. And here is the end, and they're both the ends are the same. There's a little dot in the middle, and then lines going up to meet each of the paddles. Yeah. Now, the tricky part is, how do you attach a round can to a square box? Hmm. A square. You just have to push it really hard. Well, you could do that, but you might get a hole in your boat. That wouldn't be a very good idea. No. But instead, take a craft stick with two elastic bands on it. I don't see how that helps. Well, I'm going to take a piece of tape, and I'm going to tape it to the end of the box. You're taping the craft stick to the box. Right, okay. and the craft stick is holding the elastics. That's the important part to remember. Make sure you've got the elastics on first when you do this. Okay. Okay, and I'm putting it just about in the middle, halfway up the box. I'm well, taping see, it really Maggie. securely. Oh, yeah. And in fact, I'm going to add another piece of tape. I'm going to move the elastics out of the way and put a third piece in and push that tape down so it's nice and secure. Now... I now, take the paddles. You take the paddles. And I slide them underneath the elastics. I put the can Whoa, right in here. Aren't you nervous about that? No, no, because it's held on pretty tightly. Mm. So I think it's okay. Make sure you've got nice, big, strong elastics to do yeah, this. Yeah, I wouldn't want it to just sort of snap. There back. you go. <laughs> See, it's attached just like that. Oh, that is cool. It's a really good way to do it. But now we need to put some things on top. Right. So I've got some more pieces of construction paper and a bit of a box. And can you see all of these? What do these look like? Oh, those are like windows. Right. Because people who go on a paddle boat might be there to look out at the scenery, or sometimes they even have bands, so they might be listening to the music and oh, dancing. we have elastic bands. Right. <laughs> I meant musical bands, uh, though. Ah, <laughs> yeah, I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put that down right in the middle of the box, and I've got some glue to hold it in place. I've got a square, well, I guess it's a rectangular piece oh, yeah. of construction paper. Oh, that's the roof. Right, mm. and I'll put that on with a tape loop. Now, there's one more thing to go on the roof, but before I do that, I'm going to do something at the front of the boat. This part here at the back, that's called the stern. Oh, if you're trying to... because it's very serious. <laughs> and the front of it is called the bow. And I've got mm. a strip of Bristol board, and I'm going to bend it and fold just the top part of it down. Yeah, okay, and make a kind of a pointy thing. A, just a little bit of a point, but it's not folded all the way down. And now I'll put some tape on, and you'll see we've got a nice point. Oh, I think I did that a little too tight. There we go. And I'll put tape on the other side. And it looks like it's all set to go through the water. It doesn't go through incredibly rough water, but it can go in deep water, on rivers, on lakes, for long distances. Mm -hmm. And it travels because it's got very powerful engines. And here are the smokestacks. Oh, for the engines. Right. And these are two 
halves of a toilet paper roll, and I'll glue them and put them on at the back. Okay, so that's where the smoke from the engine comes. All right. Mm -hmm. So we've got now our completed paddle boat. Okay, Maggie. We've got our ferry boat and our paddle boat mm -hmm. ready. What happens now? Well, remember, our little canoe wants to know how we can travel through the rapids without getting seasick. Weak tea, chicken soup, soda, crackers, ginger ale. That's what the houseboat said I have to take. <laughs> but what are weak tea, chicken soup, soda, crackers, ginger ale? Just then, the canoe bumped into a big boat. Honk, oh. honk. Ahoy there, youngster. Watch where you're going. Sorry, I didn't see you. I was looking for something, and I wasn't watching where I was going. Mm, that's true. What are you looking for? Weak tea, chicken soup, soda crackers, ginger ale? I've been told it's a cure for seasickness. I get seasick in the rapids. Mm, weak tea, chicken soup, soda crackers, ginger ale, eh? I've never heard of that cure, but I have heard of another cure for seasickness. You have? What is it? Well, I carry a lot of people across this river, and when the water gets a bit rough, many of them will stand on the deck and look out to the horizon. The horizon? Mm, that's where the water meets the sky. The folks will just look out there, eyes on the horizon, face to the rail. Does it work? It seems to work for them. They all get in their cars and drive off when I dock. Eyes in the horizon, face to the rail. Of course, I don't cross the river when the weather gets too rough, and I never go through the rapids, so I don't know if it'll help you. You should talk to old Paddy. He's been around here for years. He must know a cure for seasickness. Thanks, ferry boat. Anytime. Just watch where you're going. Eyes in the horizon, face to the rail. Weak tea, chicken soup, soda, crackers, ginger ale. Huh, I wonder which cures seasickness. Do you know? The canoe continued sailing down the river, looking for old Patty. 20 degrees to starboard. Sound the river, Mark Twain. Eyes in the horizon, face to the rail. Weak tea, chicken soup, soda, crackers, ginger ale. Ah, full reverse, full ah, reverse. Ah. Haul your keel out of the way there, you ah. young whippersnapper. Ooh. I nearly ran you over. Sorry, I'm looking for old Patty. The ferry boat said he could help me. Well, I'm old Patty. What's your problem, son? I'm looking for a cure for seasickness. When I traveled through the rapids upriver, I felt really sick. Yeah, a cure for seasickness. <laughs> That's easy. I've been sailing up and down this river for over a hundred years now. I know every cure for seasickness there is. You do? Of course. What you need is fresh air, a busy mind, and you'll never ail. It works every time. Thanks. Fresh air, busy mind, and you'll never ail. Eyes in the horizon, face to the rail. Weak tea, chicken soup, soda crackers, ginger ale. Ha! Huh, now I've got three cures for seasickness. I wonder which one works. Honk, honk. What was that? Huh? It sounds like fairy boat's in trouble. He only honks like that when something's wrong. We better go help him. So Tippy Canoe and the paddle boat rushed over to the ferry boat. What's wrong, ferry boat? Eh, can we help? Oh, it's not me. It's the houseboat. She called for help. One of her family members has fallen overboard, and she can't reach him. The water's too rough and shallow. Rough and shallow? I can go through water that's rough and shallow. I can rescue him. Well, good luck. Mm. Do you think Canoe realizes that there are rapids where the water is rough and shallow? Tippy, the little canoe, hurried off to the rough and shallow water. There, floating in his life jacket, was the young boy from the houseboat. Oh, Canoe, I hope you can reach him. Tyler, the little boy, was leaning over the edge when we reached this water, and he fell overboard. It's too shallow for me to get up close to him. I can sail through that. Oh, watch out for the rapids. Rapids? Whoa! Oh, this is rough. Oh, no, I'm starting to feel sick. Oh, I've got to rescue that boy. I'll just concentrate on him and say all those seasickness cures over and over. You say them with me. Fresh air, busy mind, and you'll never ail. 
Eyes on the horizon, face to the rail. Weak tea, chicken soup, soda, crackers, ginger ale. Fresh air, busy mind, and you'll never ail. Eyes on the horizon, face to the rail. Weak tea, chicken soup, soda, crackers, ginger ale. Oh, you did it, Tippy Canoe. Ah, oh, good work. Ah, that's the way to do it, young fella. You rescued the boy, and you didn't get sick. Hey, that's right. I went right through the rapids, and I feel fine. I guess I found the cure for seasickness. Yeah, which cure was it? Was it fresh air, busy mind, and you'll never ail? Was it eyes on the horizon, face to the rail? Or was it weak tea, chicken soup, soda crackers, ginger ale? It was all of them said together. After that, the canoe was never scared to go through the rapids by himself. He was always careful, of course, but he just said, fresh air, busy mind, and you'll never ail. Eyes in the horizon, face to the rail. Weak tea, chicken soup, soda crackers, ginger ale. And he sailed right through. <laughs> fresh air, busy mind, and you'll never ail. Eyes on the horizon, face to the rail. Weak tea, chicken soup, soda crackers, ginger ale. <laughs> Maggie, I don't know if saying that has helped me feel better, but making the crafts and telling our story helped. Oh, good, Jackson. I'm glad it worked. Oh, yeah, now I'm ready to go outside and play. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. See you next time on Crazy Quilt. Can we take these out and oh, push them around idea. in the sandbox? That would be a good we can idea. I made the little boy by taking a clothespin and shortening it so he has two little legs. His face was drawn on a sticker and his hair is a little bit of wool. The life jacket are two little leftover bits of sponge attached with an elastic band. So just in case he ever falls in the water again, He'll be ready. I bet he'd float in, in the bathtub. <gasps> oh, yeah. You probably want to take the sticker off first, though. It might get a little bit soggy. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. And the, the rapids were just bits of cotton batten that I put on.